right welcome back now you guys know the concept behind star delta circuit and you know which motor we can connect star delta circuit to it now we will study the star delta power circuit and in the next lecture we will look at the control circuit here you can see our motor and our lines so for the power circuit we will put our mcb of course then our contactor and then our overload relay we need to connect our motor in star first and then shift to delta and to use this we will use contactors but to connect our motor in star let's review back here is the star connection so we need to shorten this through a metal connector so when we use a contactor we can connect our motor like this so we will take the wires pass them through the contactor and they will be shortened by the way here km means this is for main contactor and KS here this is for the star this means a star contactor and main because this contactor will be always on this is the main contactor but this star contactor will be on for 10 seconds and then it will be off and then we will have the delta contactor to connect our motor in delta we need to review the delta connection so as you can see here these are the motor windings so they are hidden don't worry about them guys you will not see them in the terminal box this exists inside the stator but you can see to connect our motor in delta we will connect a metal connector here between u1 and w2 and between v1 and u2 and between w1 and v2 and this we will do it through a contactor so this also you can see here the red line is here in parallel with u1 and w2 the second phase is in parallel with uh, u2 and v1 and the third phase is connected to w1 and v2 so the way i connected it is like this and uh, you can see here this is the first phase first phase goes through here and then it's connected to u1 so we need to connect w2 to it so w2 taking it gone through the contactor and then it's coming back to here so this is a delta connection and it's the same for the middle one you can see here in the middle it's going to the middle phase and it's also here is coming so v1 and u2 are connected through the contactor instead of like using a um, metal connector and there are different ways to connect uh, this guys so i can safely say that um, i can take uh, this phase and do like this and put here a contactor and connect this phase here to w2 so you can see here u1 and w2 are connected through this contactor okay and you can see also i can connect this one here and i can connect the third one like this it's it's still the same but most of the diagrams you will see it this way but i will show you the different ways of connection so you don't get confused when you see another IEC diagram for star delta uh, power circuit and you get confused oh is is it possible to connect it this way or is it wrong or is it correct but finally just understand the concept so this is not enough let's see it in action guys okay so I will run the circuit it will run for star for some time and then it will shift for delta so I close the MCB and I close the main contactor and the star contactor in the same time. Our motor is running now in star for some time. And then star is open. You can see it is open and um, our motor is running in delta. So now our motor is running in delta. It will keep run on delta until we off it. Okay. So let's look at the ways of connections. Now this is another way to connect the 
Star Delta Power Circuit. Uh, right after the MCB, we are putting our overload relay. It's the same. So instead of the overload relay was here, I shifted it back there. And what's the difference here, guys? This will make a difference in the overload relay setting. So here, let's say maybe it is uh, 10 ampere. We set it at this setting. But if it is here, we will set it at 5.8 ampere. And for this, there are some calculations. I will take one full lecture for you guys, maybe after this lesson, after the control circuit for star delta, to size, okay, what size do we need our contactor? What size do we need our MCB? And what size do we need our overload? And if we're putting our overload relay here, which setting do we put it? If we are putting it here, which setting do we use? This needs one full lecture that you will get hands on knowledge and experience on it. So don't rush into things guys, but just understand this. This is another way to connect our star delta power circuit. And this is another way. Actually, I just show you this way. I drew it. So before I drew the circuit here, but it's the same. So I'm taking it after the overload relay and I'm doing it like this. So U1 and W2 are really connected. Okay, so this concludes our lesson for the power circuit for the star delta. Next, we will look at the control circuit. Thank you guys.